It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Z Garcia. Hey, hey, everybody, Z Garcia here. Today we are taking a look at an expansion to 51st State Master Set, one of my favorites. And that expansion is this little deck of cards right here, Scavengers. You're going to use these cards shuffled into the main deck in the game to change how the game feels. That's the idea anyway. And the main concept here is that you can bring cards back into play, back into your hand, back onto your board that you thought were long gone. So let's take a look at how this works. Come on back after that. I'll tell you what I thought of it. Do be aware that I'm not going to show you how to play 51st State Master Set. I'm just going to be showing you some of the new cards in here and some of the new concepts included. So if you need to know how to play that game, go check out my review for 51st State so you understand what's happening. But let's dive right into this little box right here. Here we go. So here's what you're going to get. You're going to get a deck of cards. You're going to get some rules explaining what to do with these cards. You're going to get a box in which the cards came in. You are now going to need the box. So here's how you play with these. You are going to shuffle these into the main deck of 51st State cards, just as you would the winter cards or the new era cards that came in the original box. Okay. However, before you do that, there's a couple of different, uh, uh, different rules that you need to be aware of before you begin. First of all, and mainly, each player is now going to have their own discard pile. Every time you discard a card, you are going to put it into your own discard pile face up because a lot of the cards in here and the main focus of this expansion is scavenging, messing with those cards, grabbing them and utilizing them for your own benefits, as well as creating ruins, scoring ruins, manipulating them, things like that, all right? The other main difference is there is now a new uh, deck of these contact cards that will go along the alongside the blue and the red ones and you'll flip over one every round and you can send two workers to these and grab it and then later cash it in and use it. Do whatever it says. There's two different kinds that you'll find in here. And this one says instant gain one of that symbol right there. That symbol is all over this expansion and it basically means the top card of any opponent's discard pile. In this case, I could discard this and take the top card of any other player's discard pile into my hand and use that card. And the other kind you'll see is this one. Instant, draw three cards, keep one, discard the rest. And again, discard the rest does mean into my discard pile. I got to be careful the order I put them in there because, you know, I might tempt some opponents to take them from me. So those are a new deck of cards. And then besides that, we have all these. I'm just going to show you a couple of these so you see some of the new concepts to be found in the game, all right? So we're going to go over just a handful. So here we have this one, and this one says, Action, choose a uh, an icon on one of those cards, one of the cards sitting on top of someone else's discard pile. Spend the matching good to gain one victory point. The matching good being, uh, in this case, a wild resource, uh, a card, a brick, a worker, so on. Okay? So you would spend that to gain a victory point. And the rules do indeed give you a little breakdown of what all those icons could possibly be. So there you go. So that's the first one. Then we have over here this one. The Garbage Digger says open production. Choose one icon on one of those cards and you gain the matching good. We have this one, which as you can see has three of those icons. If you uh, raise the card, if you attack it, right? It has production, one of those cards and a building bonus of one of those discarded cards. Very good for making more cards and possibly getting something you really want that someone took from you. Here we have this one, spend a person. This is an action, spend a person, a worker, and a brick, and you gain one of those cards. And lastly, here we have this one, which is a feature, which says building bonus, gain one victory point for each ruins in your state, max of five. Why ruins? What is the deal with that? Well, there's a bunch of cards I'm not showing you, which create ruins and score ruins for you. And this combos really nicely with that. As you know, ruins can be built over without a resource match, an icon match, that is. And so 
if you get into trouble and you're, and you're hoping to get all these, well, you can just build over those ruins and make points that way. But it allows you to manipulate the state of your board with some ruins like that. So that's basically it. That's how uh, the game changes the original base set. Does that function? Is it interesting? Is it clever? Does it uh, really change the feel of the game? Well, let's go back up top and talk about that. All right, so there it is, Scavengers. Let's talk about it. I'm not really gonna use my target audience system for this. It's the same as it would be for the base game, all right? So, but I am gonna use some of these points to illustrate what I think. Start with aesthetics, I think it's great. Same card quality as the original base game, same art, same look. Unless you told someone this was an expansion, they would not think it. So, very happy about that. Production's great as well, nice little package. Simple to fold right in, yeah? Uh, the main thing I wanna talk about is, does this feel different? Does it change the game or is it more of the same? Not that I would have a problem with either one of those things. More of the same is great for me, for a game I enjoy so much, but I was thinking, right, I went into it expecting something really different, right? This idea of utilizing your own discard, taking a lot of stuff from other players' discards, ruins everywhere. This is going to feel like a brand new game, right? Well, it's somewhere in the middle between those two things, between just more of the same and something revolutionary. I think it's not going to feel radically different on a consistent basis. You'll play a game and it'll barely make a difference, really, right? You might see a little bit of the ruins and, and uh, taking a car from someone else's discard pile here and there. You might see that a little bit, and some games are gonna be all about that, depending on how things play out, which is fine, because that's how the other two were, right? New Era and Winter both felt that way anyway. You could shuffle it in, and sometimes it felt the same as playing with the basic, you know, 88 or so cards of just 51st State. So I'm okay with that. But I was a little disappointed the first time I played because I expected something so radically different and that first play, these barely showed up. So it just played out that way. But I've played a bunch of more times and, and, and this is going to give you a, a vibe that you don't get from anything else that was in the original base game. And I like what it does. It's interesting. It's tricky and it's all about timing, right? Because oftentimes what will happen is I'll have a card or I'll have a power which allows me to take your top discard, but I gain it now, and by the time I'm ready to use it, you've covered up your card that I wanted, so I'm like, oh, I missed out on it. But it forces you to watch your opponent's discard pile if you're going for this kind of stuff, which I really find enjoyable. It adds some interaction uh, without being interactive, right? I just need to be observant of what's going on. If you took a card that I was really hoping to draft, I'm gonna keep on my eye on you because you might not build it. You might just discard that card, right? And then I'm gonna jump on it. I'm gonna take it for myself and use it. And the new things you can explore, the new design space with the ruins, with having your own discard pile, being careful what ends up on top of that discard pile are interesting and it's clever. This is not gonna blow the game wide open, right? If you did not like the original game, this is not suddenly going to make you like it, but that's not what it's meant to do. This is meant to give you more of what you enjoyed with maybe a little twist here or there. And I think it does that. Uh, I think it's going to, for people who enjoy the game, it's going to give you a new flavor. You might not want to play with every time, but you're going to enjoy it when you do. And that's how I feel about it. So it's not a, a revolutionary expansion, right? It's not an expansion that, for me, made the game go to a whole new level. But it is one I'm really happy with. I've enjoyed playing with it. I probably won't teach people learning the game the first time, including this, but I could see myself bringing it out after they've played three or four times, you know? And I really enjoyed it. So that is Scavengers. I dig it, I'm glad I have it. I'm glad this game is getting support because I'm a huge fan of 51st State. So that's gonna get a seal of excellence from me. If you enjoy 51st State, definitely don't let this one fly under the radar for you. Go pick it up and do some scavenging. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock.
Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.